All right, I think we should address something uh, right away. Shouldn't I get right into this, Jeff? I should talk to people about this, because this is something that's on everyone's minds. A couple of weeks ago, our drummer, Max Weinberg, uh, left to go on tour with Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. And believe me, we're all very happy for him. This is a big deal. It's a great tour. He's a big part of that band, so we're thrilled about the whole thing. But I've got to be honest with you. It just isn't the same without Max. It's not. To be honest, a lot of people around the show, and a lot of our fans, and, well, America in general is having a really hard time coping with Max's absence. They've done polls. It's the thing people are most concerned and worried about right now in the United States is that Max Weinberg has left the Conan O'Brien show. So tonight, I thought it might help to open the floor to any questions and concerns you, the audience, have in a little piece we're going to call Coping without Max. <laughs> Look at that. Can you put that picture back up for a second? Look, ev even Max is sad that Max is gone. <laughs> it's so weird. All right. So I'm honest about this. I just want to open the floor. Does anyone here have anything they want to ask me or say about Max to get this off their chest? Uh, yes, yes. Hi, Conan. I, I do. Okay. Um, why don't you go ahead? Yeah, well, this whole thing about Max has been, well, it's been really tough on me as a mom. And, um, and I'm having a hard time explaining it to my daughter. That's fair. A lot of parents are having a hard time explaining Max's absence to children. That's important. Uh, you should understand Max went to tour. Uh, with an old friend of his, and he's going to be on the road for a while. Yeah, okay, I understand that. I, I just don't understand why tickets are 140 bucks. Ticketmaster sucks. <laughs> All right, does, uh, does anyone else here have a question about Max? Yeah, right up here, dude. Okay, I mean, confident guy, go ahead. Yeah, well, you had Max Weinberg, who's the greatest rock and roll drummer ever, right? And you got this Wormworth dude replacing him? No way! You gotta prove yourself, dude. Right now, let's see what you got. <laughs> that is really, I'm, he's very good, I'm sorry. It's really, it's great. It's really good. All right. Good job, Warren. That was tough. Okay, uh, anybody else? Yeah, Conan, you know that uh, Max on Max video? Yes, okay, this is a very popular video that we've shown on our program many times. For those of you who, uh, who don't know it, uh, Alan, can we show the famous Max on Max video? Well, you had to know what it was. <laughs> so, sir, you have a concern about Max on Max? Yeah, yeah. Without Max here, you guys probably won't show it. And that's a little hard for me to accept. <laughs> well, I understand. And you'll be happy to know that since Max is gone, we have a new video starring our announcer, Joel Goddard. Take a look. <laughs> Uh, Thanks. I feel, I feel a lot better. Good, yeah. That's called Joel on Joel with Joel watching. Hey, Conan. Huh? What the hell? How can we be sure that Max isn't dead and you're just covering it up? Because Max isn't dead. That's, that's ridiculous. There's no evidence that he's dead. Oh, yeah? Then what's this? <laughs> Looks like a broken drumstick. And what's this? A torn suit jacket. And what's this? A smashed drum. And what's this? That's a basket of pine cones. And this? That's a painting of George Washington. And what's this? That's cheese. Exactly. <laughs> Sir, none of that proves anything. The hell it doesn't. I told you it was cheese. <laughs> Look, 
are there any other questions about Max? Um, excuse me, Conan, but will we ever get to see Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band on your show? On our show? Well, you bet. In fact, that was part of the deal we made with Max. We'd let him go on tour as long as Bruce and the band showed their appreciation and loyalty by appearing on our show. And you know when they're going to be on our show? Right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. I'll never forget that night. <laughs> Is anyone else having a hard time coping without Max? Any yes, I am. I came here to throw a brick at Max, and I'm very disappointed. Well, I'm sorry, Max. Max just isn't here, ma'am. My suggestion would be for you to direct your anger elsewhere. You're right. <laughs> Two things. Shouldn't we have had a sound effect with that? That's one. And second, he can't squeeze the brick. <laughs> you have superpowers. All right. Uh, you know, folks, coping without Max, though, all the kidding aside, it really isn't easy. Hey, no, hold on. Hold on a second. Y'all see what's going on here, don't you? This old Brian character's trying to trick us regular folk. Oh, with his fancy suit and his slickified big city words. Why, he's as greasy as a raccoon that's been dipped in raccoon grease. You're not gonna get me with your highbrow hoodwinking. No, the only way we're going to get Max Weinberg back is if we get him back ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Damn right. Well, how are we going to do that? Stranger, I'll tell you. <laughs> we're going to put on a show. Sir, this is a show. <laughs> You win this time, Sid. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. This this whole thing just hey, isn't getting hey, us anywhere. Hey, hey, I got a question for you. Oh, Jimmy Vivino, band leader, of course. Uh, what, what's up? Well, first Andy leaves. Now Max is gone, and so so what's wrong with you? Why do you make men leave? <laughs> He's right. Why do I make men leave? Maybe somewhere inside, I want them to leave. Because I don't think I'm good enough to make them stay. See, see man, that's exactly what I'm talking about. All your creepy inner monologues are driving men away, and I'm out of here. Wait a minute. You can't leave? Jimmy! Jimmy, don't go! Uh, where did Jimmy go? Our best video yet. All right, we're taking a break. We come back. Jeff Daniels is here. Stick around.